lot of the um, the, the oil and gas companies such as BP, BG or Shell as the case may be, as well as the, the downstream industries, they depend a lot on the OEMs which are the original equipment manufacturers for servicing of the equipment or maintaining and upgrading of the equipment. And I think it's about time, which is something that we have been doing for the last four years is trying to nurture our clients so that as a local company, a local mechanical engineering services company, we have the support of the OEMs to, to do work, to do the necessary upgrades on a local basis. The advantage to that is that there's, there's a cost saving to the end user. Local companies are being developed on, on the existing level or on par as the international companies and also to um, the cost, the cost to the, to, to the client is, is something that, that, that they could save. In the past, what, what a lot of the companies would normally do is they would bring in all OEM, OEM individuals to do their work for them, to do their engineering work for them, to do their upgrades or their shutdowns and turnarounds as the case may be. And over the years, a lot of the companies has realized that Trinidad has skills and resources in place to support them with their shutdowns and turnarounds. So I think engineering services company, not just the Rampasad, but generally in Trinidad, um, stand to benefit a lot, but obviously we need the support of the major international companies that they're willing to give us that level of support required. Well, for Trinidad, the big would be in the, in the oil and gas business. As you see, we just had some large um, finding, oil finding, um, gas findings in just over the weekend. And as long as we, we keep exploring and doing this thing, Trinidad we would, we would always be in one of the one to, to the best country in the Caribbean. We have um, the Caribbean as well. We have a lot of work that we do with the, the Caribbean in, in Guyana, Barbados, in Jamaica. And again, we have positioned ourselves where they keep calling us. So we have people going across there and repairing some of the major equipment that they have. But apart from the type of business we do here, we also um, in the in the water industry, we also in the sewer industry. Um, so these all over the Caribbean have this sort of work that's coming going on. We also in the power industry now. We are now going into solar business. So yes, we we will be okay. Well, the country will be okay. With respect to DRAM, Pissad and Company and our subsidiary company, I see a lot of growth in our conversion business. I also see um, significant growth in our new vehicle business. But from an engineering services standpoint, the, 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 the growth potential for DRAM, Pissad is really with, with water, because you, you need water to survive, as well as in the, in the downstream industries. We have expanded our services not just in Trinidad, but around the Caribbean as well. So we're very active in Barbados, Jamaica, Grenada, um, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Guyana. Um, those, are, those are some of the islands that we have ventured upon to develop additional business that we can offer. There are two dimensions to where I see this company in five years. One is that I have always looked at this company as a company that we cannot stand alone to go where I want to go. And in doing so, I've been working, I've been looking for some sort of foreign, foreigner, some sort of big conglomerate to come in and join with us to take this company further.